Hello friends, welcome to my channel Media Creation Club with the latest updates. In this short video, I am going to show you how you can do the connection main MCB timer to contactor and then load. So all connection we learn how the supply go to the timer, timer output go to the contactor, contactor output to the uh, main home supply. So that is very simple and easy procedure that you can learn here all the connection properly that you can easily do it in your home so first of all we have the some cables to we do the this connection so for example i use this cable for the incoming supply so we give the supply to MCB this one is the main incoming here we take the output this one 40 ampere then now we take the two jumper cable to give supply to the timer so we take from MCB output then neutral if you want to learn the timer connection or contactor connection uh, separately you can see on the i button and then description I will put the link so you can easily learn also the timer connection and then the then the contactor so now we give the supply here to the timer you can see the if my camera can show you the numbers 1 2 3 8 and 7 so this 8 and 7 is main 8 and 7 is main incoming uh, this one and then this one is the jumping for the timer supply and then this one is output source so we do the connection here we give the here live and then we put any jumping cable to loop the supply then put number two this jumper then this slide the neutral also we put in the number 7 and then take one jumper cable for the load so I loop here the jumper cable with the neutral also so we take the neutral from this timer then we take the one more cable output from the timer from number one Now the connection is hope you can understand easily. So this one is the main incoming output to the this two timer switch and then this one is the jumper cable to the timer then this one output source neutral we loop here. Now we connect to the contactor. Contactor is we know the A1, A2 is main coil to supply this contactor so we put the hair A1 then A2 we put the neutral I make it normal so you can see all the connections now if we turn off all the timer so later we adjust now the timer is off so if I give the supply here I put the supply first then 
then if I turn on the supply now it's timer we didn't yet on so we fix the time here uh, for example I fix the time to on 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock morning Seven o'clock morning until ten o'clock, and this timer will on morning time. So if I twist the time to reach, you can see the arrow here, the timer arrow. This arrow is time. You can see the show the time here. Is you can see the uh, 24 hours time so now it's 2 o'clock then if we twist the timer if our timer reached the morning 7 o'clock you see the contactor it's on if the 10 o'clock automatically off the contactor you see now if we put the supply so you can easily see the what's going on this uh, contactor so how we connect the load also we can learn so that is the uh, passing the all current this magnet the four points we give supply here and then takes uh, supply from uh, this four output pin so we put the load for example I just put the uh, load here I using this light because I'm normally using this light to for examples all so I first of all I off the main supply of here also then here I take the neutral neutral uh, we can take here the A2 same A2 here and then here also you can joint uh, there is no any issue you can take here take direct only we need the current and then current also you can take here to give here to take out the supply here actually this this one only the coil uh, letting on this magnet go inside and then uh, make the bypass so that is the easiest method so I just put the neutral here then I put the point here so now neutral is here the uh, output is here but we cannot still cannot on because we need to give the supply to uh, this this context so we take here or here or direct anywhere you want to take direct from the MCB uh, you take and then give supply so I normally I uh, just jump here so easy for us so now you need to understand all the connections I make it uh, separately so you can understand the all the connection the load uh, it's depend on you you can take from here take from here take from here you need to loop all the uh, face to uh, give the supply so first of all this one is the main incoming main incoming come to the MCB output from the MCB go here the timer timer we give the number 8 number 7 supply and then this jumping cable we give the number 2 and then this one is the looping neutral looping go to the contactor then this one is the output of the timer if we come to the contactor, contactor is normally A1, A2 is the coil to owning this contactor. Then this cable we loop because we give we need to give the supply here to take output from these four points. And then this one is A2 is the same thing looping here the <coughs> neutral. Then this one is the output. Okay friends, so now it's on. If we adjust the timer, uh, for example, I adjust the timer 8 o'clock 
or 7.30 until 12 o'clock midnight the light is on if this point is go inside so it meaning to say uh, that one is owning the supply so now if I twist the timer to reach the uh, 7.30 so I just twist so this arrow you can see here the timer if the clock is running so this one is the running clockwise if reach at 7.30 you see the light is on and then if midnight 12 o'clock it will automatically off if the time is reach mid uh, midnight 12 o'clock and then if morning again 7 o'clock it will on then 10 o'clock it will off so that is the uh, timer work that giving supply once the reach what time you set so it will turn it on this contactor and then contactor giving supply to the load so whatever you want to turn on your motor your aircon your uh, anything else you want to turn automatically by timer so that is the basic connection that how you can do the connections connection already you see uh, very simple and easy connection that uh, supply output go to the timer timer got jumping cable and then neutral we take the bypass and then output from this timer then contactor also we give the coil and then coil looping output here so that is very simple and easy connection that you can do it yourself so hope this video is going to helpful for you if you like this video don't forget thumbs up please subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new updates so let's see you in the next video with the new updates new tips new tricks thank you